Hello and welcome to Quick Maths with Mr. Jonsson. In this video, I will be working out question numbers 8 and 9 for the IGCSE extended paper May-June 2024 and it is the second variant. Alright, so here we have question number 8. A baker decorates X small cakes and Y large cakes. In one day, he decorates not more than 16 small cakes less than 10 large cakes, more small cakes than large cakes, a total of not more than 24 cakes. One of the inequalities that shows this information is x is less than or equal to 16. So that's for the first one, okay? Here we have x is less than or equal to 16 because it says not more than 16 small cakes. Part A, write down the other three inequalities in x and or y. So let's look at the second bullet point. Less than 10 large cakes. So y is less than 10. Okay. The third one, uh, more small cakes than large cakes. So y is less than x. All right, and then the fourth one, a total of not more than 24 cakes. So when I add x plus y, should be less than or equal to 24 cakes. Look at part B. On the grid, draw four straight lines and shade the unwanted regions to show these inequalities. Label the region R, which satisfies the four inequalities. So x is less than or equal to 16. All right, so here we have the four inequalities. So the first one, x is less than or equal to 16. So when it is saying equal to, I need to draw a line at x is 16. And it should be a solid line, okay? So when the line is solid, we can say that includes 16. We need to shade the unwanted region. So all to the left of the line is the one we know the region satisfies. So here we have the unwanted region. We said just shade like that. The next one, y is less than 10. So let's go to y. And here we have 10. This time we are going to draw a dashed line because 10 is not included. All right. And then shade everything that we don't want. So here we have the unwanted region. And then the next one we have y is less than x. So when y is equal to x, then we have 2, 2, 4, 4, 6, 6, 8, 8, and so on and so forth. Okay. So since it is less than, again, we are going to draw dashed line so that y is less than x all right and then here we have the unwanted region finally x plus y is less than or equal to 24 so when x is 0 y must be 24 so let me go up here here it is so when x is 24 y is 0 right over here so let's go to x is 14 14 plus 10 is 24. Here we have that point. When x is 16, 16 plus 8 is 24. So here it is. So now if I draw a line, of course you need to use a ruler. This line must be a solid line, okay? All the way to 24. All right, all the way to 24. And then here you can see a small piece of unwanted region over here and the question says uh, and the question is up label the region R which satisfies the four inequalities here we go so this is the region R and then let's go to part C the baker earns eight dollars for decorating a small cake and twelve dollars for decorating a large cake use your diagram to find the largest amount the baker can earn in one day 
by decorating cakes. So X represents small cakes and Y represents large cakes. So if we multiply 8X and add with 12Y, that should give us, that is our expression. So let's go back to the diagram. And here X is 16, which is included, okay? So if I take Y as 8, okay? X equal to 16 and Y equal to 8. So let's work out this. 8 times 16 plus 12 times 8. Use our calculator. And that is equal to 224. Because we need to find the largest amount. Here I took the value of X to be 16, the largest. But I have, if I go to 15, I can increase my value of y to 9. Remember the point actually crosses over here at 9, okay? Because I drew this freehand, it's not exactly looking like 9. So let's try and see. So this time x equal to 15 and y equal to 9. So 8 times 15 plus 12 times 9. And this is equal to 228. 228 and obviously your answer is 228 all right question number nine part a all this information is given over here uh, the center is there radius is 7 radius is 10 for the smaller sector the perimeter of the shaded shape ABCD can be written in the form a pi plus B centimeters find the values of a and b so now perimeter is the sum of all sides you're talking about the perimeter of the shaded shape so here we have ac and bd so if this is 10 and total is 17 so ac and bd must be 7 each so we can easily add that now we need to find the length of this arc cd and the length of arc AB. So let's work out. Uh, angle is 60 degrees. Okay, and this radius for CD is 10 centimeters. Arc length of CD equal to theta, which is 60 degrees over 360. And we use the formula for circumference. That's 2 times pi times radius in that case it is 10 okay here we go here we are finding CD so the radius is 10 all right so I have typed the same calculation on my calculator and that is equal to 10 over 3 pi okay that's 10 over 3 pi let's find the arc length this the second one that's a B so Arc length AB is again 60 over 360 times 2 times pi times radius, which is 17. 60 is the angle and 17 is the radius of the bigger sector. And let's use our calculator. And that is equal to 17 over 3 pi. So this is 17 over 3 pi. Now, to find the perimeter, we need to add all four sides. So perimeter equal to 7 plus 7 plus 10 over 3 pi plus 17 over 3 pi. This gives me 14 plus 3 and 3 the same denominator. We can keep the same denominator. 27 pi, 10 plus 17 is 27 and 27 divided by 3 is 9. So that is 14 plus 9 pi. So let's go back to the question. Here we have a pi plus b. So in this case, a is 9 and b is 14. Okay, 9 and 14. All right, guys, let's go to part b. In part b, there is a regular hexagon. Area is 127.3 squared centimeters. We need to show the length of one side is 7.0 centimeters, 
7.0 centimeters correct to one decimal place. So there are different ways of doing this. Let's draw diagonal, all the three diagonals and the angle at the center is going to be 60 degrees. These are all equilateral triangles, so all must be 7 centimeters. We know if we find area of one triangle, so let's divide 127.3 by 6, that is equal to uh, 21.216666, so let me round it to five decimal places. 21.21667. All right, and then uh, using the area of a triangle formula, so we know that area is half AB sine C. Now, since these small triangles are equilateral triangles, we will not have AB. Let's consider that as A. Both, all the three sides will be A, okay? So area is 21.21667. That'll give us half times, so A times A is A square sine angle is 60 degrees. So A square will give us divide 21.21667 by half is 0 0.5 sine 60. Alright, so this calculation is equal to 48.9978. So let me write 48.9978. Now you need to find the square root of that, okay? So A equal to the square root of 48.9978 is the point. And that is equal to 6.999. So this is equal to 6.999. And if you go back to the question, we are showing that it is 7.0 correct to one decimal place. So if you round this to one decimal place, it is obviously going to be 7.0 centimeters. So part two, the hexagon is the cross section of a prism of length 10 centimeters. Find the volume of the prism. Volume is area of the cross section times length. So we already have 127.3 and the length is 10. And that's going to be 1273. And part B, calculate the surface area of the prism. So we already have the area of one of the faces and there is at the back identical over here face. We just have to multiply that by two. Uh, total surface area is two times 127.3 plus, okay, let's put that separately, uh, area of rectangle and there are six of those Okay, 10 times 7. Okay, so let's say 6 times 10 times 7. Area of a rectangle is length times width. 10 times 7. Okay, yeah, that's it. That is equal to 674.6. 674.6. All right. So that's all for today. Thank you very much.